It's June the 1st, 2017. A new coalition government ends 11 years of rule by the nationalist Vumero party. The opposition leader, Zoran Zaev, has managed to become prime minister despite a last-ditched effort by supporters of Vumero to block him by invading the parliament building. The previous two years had seen widespread political upheaval and demonstrations triggered by a whistleblower inside the counterintelligence service, releasing secretly recorded phone calls. These revealed what the EU described as state capture by the Vumero government. A special prosecutor's office was established in September 2015 to look into the widespread corruption and electoral fraud alluded to in the wiretaps. It was headed by Katitsa Yanova and publicly represented by her two female associates, Lencha Rostovska and Fatima Fatai. <laughs> They became known as Charlie's Angels. It's May the 10th, 2017. The head of the SBO arrives at work. Loved and hated in equal measure, her security is closely protected. But Katitsa Yanova has agreed to allow me, a British journalist, to film during the crucial last six weeks of their mandate. Hey. Yeah, nice to see you. Okay. So, are we, are the others coming? Okay. Katitsa introduces me to her team, the other most famous women in the country. Lencha Rostovska, and Fatima Fatai. We'll be spending the next six weeks together. So, from now on, everything is just normal. It will be Charlie's Angels for the <laughs> Macedonian, Charlie's Angels plus me. I will be Charlie. <laughs> Notice it's all women, and that's great. I, and I need to ask you about that because I don't know whether leaving the country will put me, you know, will mean I won't get back in again. You're afraid a little bit. No, I. We have to learn the place constraints in that regard. So. Okay. We are professionals. We are working, we are working, and that's our life. Ние имаме наша мисия, наша задача, коя се надеваме дека ќе извршуваме согласно законите на Република Македонија, така да мора да се најде начин како да се заштити јавниот интерес, приватниот интерес и интересот на државата. So, uh, what? Just excuse me, let me know how long should I stay here because I have meeting with my investigators. Eleven thirty. Can we film that? Fatima is from the Albanian Muslim community. She also has personal protection because of threats to her family. Her team of investigators are updating her on a case that's highly secretive and sensitive. Ти исто. Кој тебе исто? Така. Кај тебе 
Ova, ova što mi dokaže, ova može da uslužiti. The SBO was born out of a political crisis that began when the then opposition leader received secretly recorded tapes and transcripts from a whistleblower inside the counterintelligence agency. Zoran Zayev, the leader of the SDSM party, was the subject of many of those recordings. Zayev alleged that these tapes proved that the Moro government was behind the illegal surveillance of some 20,000 people and that they revealed the widespread rigging of elections and massive corruption. The then Prime Minister, Nikola Gorevsky, in turn accused Zayev of attempting a coup d'etat. After months of negotiations and the visit of a senior American diplomat, the US and EU brokered a deal whereby a special prosecutor would investigate the wiretaps, but would only have 18 months to bring indictments. They chose Katica Yanova for the job. Vemro agreed to Katica because they thought she's an easy going person. We can control her. We will we'll offer her some jobs, we will buy her eventually if that's needed, and she will accept. They underestimated this, of course, so that was the first miscalculation, I would say. In return, I believe that SDSM, Mr. Zayev, accepted the 18 months because so at least we can do something. But don't forget, there were also some inquiries ongoing against SDSM. So part of the deal might have been that we will give something into return to you. We will just allow this to die out gradually, 18 months, the whole thing is over and we continue business as usual. That was the scenario. Miscalculation, of course, because they forgot that Katica came from a family who had already a tradition in the judiciary, the old Yugoslav system. From my knowledge, knowing some of the old judges as well in the system, these people were quite professional, quite persistent, yeah? quite independent as well. So the mentality, the mindset was there to do things differently. And for Katica as well, as a person, as an individual, if you are a little bit ambitious, that's a golden opportunity, at least it was at that point in time, to do something that very few people would ever be able to do. So she could and said, I can deliver on this. Miscalculation for Femoral. There's only a few weeks to go before the 18 months mandate for the SBO to raise indictments expires. The staff of around 115 people are crammed into a small office building in central Skopje, mostly listening to secretly recorded tapes of other people's phone calls. They can only open up cases that arise from these illegally wiretap conversations. Many of them are listening to calls between their families and friends, which can put them in a very difficult position. Late at night, on Sunday the 21st of May, Lencher sends out a tweet. Tomorrow, they will hold a press conference to announce three new cases. Preparations start early. 
The eyes of the Macedonian population will be on the SPO today. Lencha is practicing possible questions with a colleague Lubomir Lape. Da kažem da kanije se produžuvame v ramki na našiot mandat, ko što podrazbira otkrivanje istraživanja na krivičnih dela povrzani koji proizlegovat od sodržinata na nezakonsko posledje na komunikacijite, a v delot na možnost za podnesovanje obvinenja veruvame deka ke se iznajde zakonsko rešenje so koje što mandatot sepak ke bide produžen. Taka nekako da kažem. Mojo da kažeš da ki suštinata na osnovanjeto novo obvinitelstvo beše da se raščisti. Не да се утврди дека постојат, туку да се рачи. Да. Рокот очигледно е мал, а интерес на, на целата јавност, на јавниот интерес е да е се рачи. Да, се да. Е, да, а, ајди да ми ја да среди. Имаш некое друго прашање? Нема. Не е нешто, нешто безобразно? Не, нешто безобразно? The team wait for the press to arrive in a small cramped office. Почтувани граѓани, почтувани медиуми на почетокот на денешнава пресконференција, сакам да нагласам дека истрагата со име Талер е прва истрага во која постои основано сомневање за перење пари, која отвара ова јавно обвинителство. Во овој момент ќе отвориме три нови истраги под кодна имења Талер, Траекторија и Тревник, за кој подетелно ќе ви објасни колечката Фатиме Фетај и колечката Ленча Дистоска, по тоа ќе продолжи и се одговарање на прашање. Благодарам. Почитувани, сам даруар. Последната истрага која денес ќе ја презентирам е истрагата под работен наслов Талир. Станува збор за незаконското финансирање на политичката партија ВМРО ДПМНЕ. Во конкретниот случај, постои основано сомнение дека и покрај тоа што на прво осомничење од како председател на политичката партија, му биле добро познати законските ограничувања, сепак формирал група на лица која се занимава со перење на пари и заедно со другите лица овозможиле средствата кои потекнуваат од кривично дело преку местните организации на политичката партија да бидат внесени во жиросметката на партијата. Благодарам. Пред да започнеме со прашања, јас ќе изложам Во текот на денешниот ден до судот ќе бидат поднесени 12 барања за изрекување на привремена мерка за мрзнување на имото за кој што поседуваме докази дека е предмет на кривично дело не за целокупниот имот. Значи не бараме да се замазне целокупниот имот кој што гласи на политичката партија, туку бараме само за оно имот за кој што обезбедивме директни докази дека тој имот е купен со средства кои што потекнуваат од кривично дело. Дај вода се. Што имам грешка? Е, па се више не можем изгубив концентрација. Мене па носот може да ти пречи ти. Абе, мислам, не се гледа на камера. Ако му треба да му се одржи прес конференција, може да ни платат и ние три да отидеме да им завршиме работа. Битно намалена преспетливост, како беше после прес, може да се запали цигар. През конференцијата помина одлично, зато што одговоривме на сите новинарски прашања и не остана нешто што како тема на интерес не беше покриено од една страна. 
Од друга страна и реакциите после пресконференцијата беа добри, немавме негативни реакции, мислам дека пораката се пренесе добро. Единствено негативни реакции добивме од нашите осумничени лица што е за очекување во вакви ситуации и бевме обвинети повторно, како и во изминатите случаи, дека сме против политичката партија во МРД и против членовите на политичката партија, иако такво нешто не е случај. It's May the 25th and investigators have invited us on a trip to Macedonia's second city of Bitola. They're off to investigate a case of corruption at the hospital there that involves new equipment and the possible embezzlement of one million euros. Their faces are blurred for their own protection. Документацијата која што треба да се одземе од тамо се однесува повеќе е финансиски, документација од јавните набавки, фактури, книговостени картици, договор, договора значи, што го имаат склучено, што го имаат раскинато, приемот на, на стоката да видиме како е направен, каде е направен и кога е направен и да видиме дали има тужба и ако има тужба и тужба да ќе ја побараме значи, од, од нив и таа да ни ја достават како таква. Do they know you're coming? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's the best way for uh, government institution, public institution and those kind of st stuff because the system is very uh, complicated, you know, and if we go ad hoc, let's say like this, we're going to lose, I don't know, maybe three days just to get one paper or two. Because they won't be prepared, they yes, won't know where yes, it is. Yes, 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 it's better. There are situations, yes, where you have to go unannounced, you know, to go like that. But that is, if it's uh, an emergency, if there is a need of that kind of stuff, if there, if there is a suspicion that the guy will escape or he will destroy the documentation, those kind of stuff. We have only one goal to settle up with all those materials which are illegally tapped and to see whether there was a crime in those stocks or, or not. And till now, we're we are seeing that we have a lot of job. A lot of job. And how do you feel about this deadline? It's very, very, very small deadline, 18 months, because previously I had few cases which we worked for two, three years, but we worked all the time, you know? And there were very little compared to these cases we have here. This one is the investigators are all experts on financial fraud and used to work for the people they are now investigating. Most of the things that I worked for previously, now I see that I was working for someone to rip off, you know? But I didn't put it that way, and I didn't see it, see it in that way because I was trying to work for payment, you know? Afterwards, to go home, to pay my kid for the school and the school activities, to have the, my frigidaire full, that, that is the most important thing for me. My knowledge, it's only for me. If you understand it and if you appreciate it, use it, you know, but according to the law. Don't make a fool out of me. The three investigators, two Macedonian speakers and one Albanian speaker, are a close-knit group. Да, денот беше многу добар. Не ме речам одличен, затоа што изкочија некои документи за кои што едноставно не предпоставувавме дека може да постојат, кои што може да доведат и до нови сомнения. Треба истите значи да ги провериме со документацијата која што веќе имаме, значи кај нас во канцеларијава, за да видиме дали целата ова работа не води кон затварање на предметот со поведување на истрага или па да го затвориме предметот за да нема никакво кривично дело. Well, you were there for over three hours. Were they uh, cooperative with you? Yes. Yes. Yes, very cooperative. They gave us all that we asked. They gave us a coffee also, etc., etc. Yes. 
<laughs> but a coffee, coffee. Just Without sugar. <laughs> if they had given you sugar, that would have been a bribe, right? <laughs> no, he had with sugar. <laughs> So, who were the people you were talking to? These were in the bosses of the, of mm -hmm, the hospital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you met the boss of the hospital, yes. and it is possible he will be a witness or a suspect? Everything is possible. Everything and, is possible. And how did he behave towards you? Very normally. Even the Prime Minister came today. Uh, ex. Ex Prime Minister. In the ho hospital? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Really? Uh, you were joking. No, no, no. <laughs> we went out for yeah. a cigarette and what to see? He had a lot of people waiting for him, cameras, etc. 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 Meanwhile, back in the office, one of those indicted, businessman Seat Kochen, has arrived at the SPO after having fled abroad for two months. <laughs> He's being watched by the prosecutors inside as he mistakenly tries to go into the snack shop next door. <laughs> Sayed Kochen had been living in exile until the SBO warrant for his arrest was overruled by the Supreme Court. He then returned to Macedonia and to the SBO. <laughs> oh, he's going outside. <laughs> Change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he wants, she said, maybe he wants to take from us something. Some but food. Yeah, some food. Why did you get a car? Investigators have to listen to more than 600,000 audio files. Their mandate is limited to the recordings. Only evidence that they hear on the tapes can be used to open new cases. Most of them involve former government officials. What is he doing right now? He is listening all the uh, illegally wiretap materials. He is making, you know, a selection of a conversation that he thinks that might be important for some new case. And then I decide whether some of uh, the selected conversation are going to be used for opening new case, or maybe some of them are related to some other case here in the prosecution. But something else is going on at the SBO. Fatima, Lencha, and Katitsa have become the most famous women in Macedonia. Everywhere they go, they're mobbed by admirers. And they even have their own impersonators. Actually, I don't know. I tell you, I don't know how normal uh, could be some country or some state where the prosecutors are the biggest star. 
You can imagine. I was uh, uh, in some wedding last week, and you know all the time people are coming to uh, make pictures with us, and uh, everyone when they see us, Mika, they say, oh, the prosecutors, can we take a picture? And um, it was an older person, he, he, he called his, his son, and he said, look, Fatima Fatai is here. Uh, come on here to take a picture, you know, with her. And in a normal country, children of 13 years old, they don't have to know who is Zoran Zaev, who is Fatima Fatai, and who is Nikola Gruevsky. Because if you are a star, we're not a singer, or <laughs> I'm not an actress, I'm a public prosecutor, and thanks to, to that position, I became, how to say, famous a star somehow. Uh, that means that I have also huge responsibility, you know, People are waiting for me to do something, some change. Uh, and I should uh, you know, keep working so hard to stay there where I am. Because one little mistake made by my side could make me just like this. And that will hurt. It's May the 31st, and a group from the SBO is going out to investigate a case called Titanic. Charges that the Vumero party engaged in widespread election fraud in the 2013 local elections. Значи од претходното наше искуство заради постојните обструкции кои што ни се случува при превземањето на повеќе дејства, никогаш не сакаме да зависиме од од останатите служби и секогаш со нас носиме опрема која што сметаме дека ќе ни биде потребна. Тоа значи и компјутери, и принтери, и дополнително лично вооружување, она што зависи, што, што ни следува и со што сме задолжени сите полициски службеници. Предходната недела се превзема повеќе оперативни дејства преку наши оперативни позиции на подрачјето на Ресен. Со цел да утврдиме погодни лица, сведоци, кои што сметаме дека би биле погодни според својот профил да дадат со двете ниска спред суд. Меѓутоа, никогаш таквите подготовки не ги споделуваме со другите. Туку случаво јавниот обвинител ги кажува на, на дел од истражителите во тимот. Во овој предмет охотен целиот врв на ОМРО допомане, почувајќи од Никола Круевски, движејќи се со генералните секретари на партијата во време како биле, што значи опак ја прво по структура Lesson is close to the Albanian border. The SBO is investigating evidence from the wiretaps that Vumero bust in Macedonians from Albania and paid them to vote in the 2013 local elections. It's a poor, tight-knit community where people are afraid to speak. Денеска имаме заслушување во полицијската станица Ресен. Тие действа ги одзиваат јавните обвинители, а ние истражителите сме поделени во два тима и по добивање на информациите од обвинителите имаме конкретни мерки кои што треба да ги извршиме, односно да пронајдеме дополнителни сведеци или да извршиме проверки врз основа на предходно дадените искази на сведоците во полицијските станици. Then the investigator gets a phone call from the prosecutors at the police station and has to leave. It seems like he's got a new lead. 
So we could be tourists. Yeah, this is actually a tourist destination. Obviously, because there's a lake here. Okay, we get out here. Right, yes. you check, you run, not with your, with your phone. So this is an important moment. The investigators set up a meeting with a witness. He's very nervous and doesn't want anyone to know he's talking to the SBO. So he arranges a meeting point outside his village. Back in the office, the pressure is beginning to tell. The deadline is looming and the boss, Katitsa, is worried. She summons all the staff for a meeting. Isto tako imam pravo i da davam i loši ocenki, ne li? Po ovoj spisok nekoj treba da si odi doma. Da si gi vidite ubovoj kaj Gabriela i da se ažurirate vo rabotenjeto. I da barate poveše rabote od vašite obvinitelji. Ili kebe prerasporedam vo drugi, so drugi obvinitelji da rabotite. Tako da znajete. Hvala vam mnogo, poveli, ali vo vseko slučaj ja sledam na vseko rabotato. Уште мислиме дека сме на почетокот на нашата работа, извршивме голема работа со отварање на истрагите, но сепак би сакале сите сите истраги да преминат во обвинение. Но има одредени личности кои со мнечени кои не се во Република Македонија или одбиваат да дојдат во обвинителството или одбиваат да примат писмена. Па во тој дел се и нашите дискусии. И утре, ако утре ве ќе поштиме покани за да наленчат за таја. Ке дојдат сите обвинети. И ако не дојдат, ќе јасно и гласно ќе кажу на телевизијата дека не примат покани. До судот ќе бараме наредби да бидат проведени за понеделник. Тоа е од мене. Лапа's phone rings. One of the most feared men in Macedonia is on the other end. A former high official in the Vumero government, he's the subject of multiple investigations. А имате ли можност вие да дойдете тук от 12? Добро, во 12 часов ќе го пратам. Да, во штаб на дома. Ама не, вие треба да подпишете.
dobro, dogovoreno, dogovoreno. Ajde, ne znam to. U 12 sat, kurir, naš štap na dogovoro, on je primjen. Dakar. Dobro, uspremen, pokojen. The investigators take the summons to the former official at the Vumero party headquarters. They have to deliver it to him personally if he is to attend the SBO for questioning. Forty-three minutes later, and the official still hasn't accepted the summons. <laughs> Viktor is still down. Tell him to get him, so he's going to get him. Let him get him, and then we'll get him to get him. If I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. 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 Come on, come on. Maci, mi fališ, ne, vika pati me pa taj odsla jove. Bara ako može da se dogovorimo, da se slušnime kratko, za da se usoglasime za termin. Waiting, waiting, still waiting. Jaz, ki jim kažem sega da slušnite, da si napiše tako za pribegovanje, pa ki vidi kako je. Intenzivno trojca obvinitelji vrti me na i na telefon, i SMS, i Viber, sve. Naše je, Viktor se shvati, naše je da se obide. But the pressure applied by the SPO seems to have paid off. In the following days, a stream of visitors arrive at the SBO for questioning. All high-level members of the former Vumero government, and all are suspects. Сум во акција, како да ви кажам. Организирам целата работа за да може да се заврши. Човек од акција и толку. Инако нити сум загрижена, нито сум фрустрирана. Во мојот живот сум била по во многу ситуации кога сум требало сум требало да бидам стрплива и не сум била, сум била загрижена. Но сега со годините веројатно таа стрпливост, тоа една сигурност во себе ја имам веќе. И како шеф морам да изгледам така спрема сите, бидејќи сите очекуваат од мене да бидам сигурна и е, сигурна во себе и во својата работа што е работа. Е, затоа морам во овој момент и малку и да бидам е, да издржам на сите притисоци и едноставно да не покажувам никакви емоции. Рече ти ќе бидеш последен кој ти секој пат. Ќе те критикувам. Не сакам да бидеш последен. Te mola, ne možem da zavisam u tebe jas. Ti mora mene da me slušiš. I da ima veće što da ga ispitate ti. Dosta veke mali ga veta. Dosta. Ajde, pa da stajte, neko ode, nek se spogodu da se sudu. Ajde da vam mora. Nema nikakve problem za to. Ave, ajde, zemajte tehničkata rabota. Ako beš tako i jas imam, si te mora da dojde. Si te mora od svega da dojde. To je šera baraše do nas, ne trebaš... Ama ne može, bre, drugi, kaj bi se drugi ste predmeti? Gotovi bi se? Ko je? Drugi te? Da, moj te gotovi se. Ne bi se jedno tako. Da, nemoj njegovi! Ja stari bro, ki bide gotovi... Koga? Ki bide do utra se vajne gotovi. Moj te gotovi se... Ama tko bi ti bude, da vam ti doneseš tako? Za dve minuti se gledam do utra posle. E, pa ajde! Muzika 
Inside the office, the tension is rising as the deadline approaches. Katitsa spots one of our cameras filming outside her office. She decides it's better off. In the cupboard. Well, we are uh, 26th of June and we have one, two, three, four, five days, four days precisely until the end of the deadline. And we have to make sure that all the documents are ready, all the copies for the courts are ready and everything that is settled because it will be disaster if I give this CD to the court and the court cannot open it. So we have to make sure that everything works fine before we submit the evidence and indictments to the court. The prosecutors and their staff work around the clock to get the final documents ready. Yes. At this point, they've managed to listen to around half of the wiretapped conversations. <laughs> It's June the 29th, the day of the final press conference. Only one day to go before the deadline. Today, the SBO will announce the last indictments that they're allowed to file under their 18-month mandate. Yeah. Everything is going fine, but we are a little bit in a rush. Почтувани представници на медиумите, почтувани граѓани на Република Македонија. 
до денес успеавме да ги поднесеме сите обвиненија за кои сметавме дека се обезбедени цврсти докази, што во бројка представува 17 обвиненија за 18 предмети против купно 94 физички и 7 правни лица. Сакам да ја уверам јавността дека ова јавно обвинителство има капацитет и ќе продолжи во соодветни законски постапки да обезбеди остварување на кривичната правда и да создаде гаранции дека сторителите на кривични дела нема да останат неказнати. It's deadline day, and inside the SBO, the feeling is frantic. Everyone is exhausted. This is not my What does that mean? Shoot us. us. Shoot us. Our Shoot, us. Torture Shoot us. Shoot us. <laughs> All the evidence has to be taken to the courts. But, as the wiretaps showed, many of the judges are under the influence of Vumero, which makes the SBO nervous. So many obstructions, so many challenges, so many obstacles during the way, and we have achieved this much. There is nothing more that we can do except push with our case. We are prosecutors, we can only propose, we can only submit, we cannot make a court decisions. It makes me stress that I am as a prosecutor not able to investigate because somebody wrote a deadline that goes in somebody's favor. We have uh, asked for the attention and other measures in almost all of our cases and the court dismissed them all, in almost all cases. Our success rate is 5%, meaning that the other 95% of our requests have been uh, put aside by the court. Fighting corruption is a serious work and you have to have determined uh, professionals that will do that and you have to have impartial and independent body that will uh, grant you this kind of, of a fight. All these uh, people who are now suspects uh, were actually uh, high level officials. So they know almost everybody. It does affect our work, but we have to keep on working. There is no other solution. What's going to happen with uh, the cases that we have that are not yet open, which are very severe cases, we have invested a lot of energy and a lot of resources in investigating and all the preliminary checks show us that there is criminal activity within these cases. You can indict people, you can investigate, you can have your own conclusions, but then what is going to happen next? And in a system where the whole judiciary from top to bottom is more or less controlled by the same party, Vumero, is extremely difficult. You can 
not live in a system where there is impunity. It's not limited to just one party or two parties. It's the whole political elite is somehow involved in this dynamics of uh, corruption, organized crime, bribes and so on. That's a lesson learned, I would say, for all politicians, for everyone living in this country. This is not accepted. You cannot and will never ever again get away with this kind of behavior. But this will only be the lesson or the message if people go to jail.